Oh, impressive young man, man. He, he's graduated already. Oh, he has his, his head in the right space. He's a smart kid. He, he's athletic. He's fast. He's technical. He's smart. So he's going to add a tremendous value to the unit back there as, as far as you know, being, being a leader, but also bringing uh, a wealth of experience and, and try to you know, mold the younger guys to, 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 to get up there. And, uh, so far, so good, man. He's been everything that, that we've expected and more. And we can, we kind of ex expect him to continue that rise. As far as the freshmen go, some of the newcomers that have been enrolled early, KJ Kirkland, um, just kind of like, what are, what are your impressions of those guys? How do you anticipate their impact? Impressive young men. Uh, obviously, Q and, and KJ, man, they, they, they're big, they're long, they're fast, uh, and they're, they're hard workers, you know. You didn't hear a bump out them as, as you should with freshmen, but they've come in and worked. They, they've, they've learned the playbook. And uh, obviously with, with all of the returning veterans that we have, they're going to have to fight for a position. But I'm going to tell them just because you're a freshman doesn't mean that you can't earn playing time. So come in with the mindset that, that I'm going to play. And if it's not on the defense side of the ball, then, then special teams. But be reliable and and, and and be a guy that we can rely on to add depth, you know, throughout the season because it, it is a, a, a act of a, a attrition throughout the season. Injuries does happen, so we have to have as many guys prepared as possible. You've obviously been on the other side of the recruiting landscape at the high school level. Um, now that you're a college coach, just I guess how have the first few months been? Um, just what, what's so different about it being on this side? Just the travel, <laughs> the travel, and getting on the the phone with guys and, and talking to guys, talking to parents and coaches and, but you know what, that, that's what the job entails and it, it's been well worth it. Uh, recruiting is all about developing relationships and, you know, some of those relationships last whether a kid comes here or not. So that's that's the the, the great part about it, just, just meeting different families and players, you know, around the country and just, just having, you know, uh, the communication level with them and trying to get their kid to come here. That's that's the promising thing. And with, with so much talent in, in the surrounding states, Florida, Georgia, Mississippi, Bama, Louisiana, you know, we feel we have enough right here to, to, to get Florida State back where it needs to be. And obviously with a great season last year, uh, we'll probably be highly ranked this year coming into the season, but that shouldn't matter. It should be about the work and, and getting better and, and try to get to that final four, which which is our goal for this year. How, how much were you able to learn about these players um, just from watching film and talking to other coaches, and how much have you learned going through the, the workouts? Yeah, a, a lot. Uh, I've been here, what, almost two months now, and for the most part, I've developed a, a really good relationship with these guys. They're, like I said, just being at the high school level, that, that it, it kind of reminds me of that. You know, just being a, a big brother, fatherly figure to him, getting to know him, you know, not only on the field, but off the field was the most important thing. Just to see what, what gets them to tick, uh, their, their family situation. And, you know, the, the, the ball is the ball. We're going to do that. We're going to do that at a high level. And like I said, those guys play well next year. I just want to enhance what they, what they built last year and try to bring them to the next level because it is a really talented group back there. Coach Norvell talked about the versatility. It, what's the challenge about trying to work at multiple positions? It's, well, not, not only that, but I feel we have 10 guys who could be stars on this team. So that's going to be a challenge, trying to get those guys on the field as well. But I think when, you, when you're versatile as a player, it, it's allow, it allows you to put the best, best matchups on the field. And like I was saying earlier, I, I would – envision a defense where we have seven defensive backs on the field you know that, that'll work for me but uh because i feel we are that talented back there and, and like i said 10 guys de deserve to play but they have to earn it they have to earn it and you know competition going to bring out the best in all those guys so i'm excited to see you know not only this spring but in the fall as well and i'm sure you talked about him before but fentro what, what what have you seen from him since he's been here just a great kid though he he's a quiet kid but He's very loud in his habits and the way he works. You know, I, th I think guys see that uh, being a all uh, ACC uh, player and coming into Florida State, knowing that we had guys returning, it says a lot about him. You know, he's not afraid of competition. He wants to come and earn everything, and 
you know, so far so good, man. He's been I'm, I'm really excited to get to coach him because he has he has all the tools. He has the length. He has the speed. He's technical. He's smart, and he's gonna add great value to our to our secondary. And you got a lot. You got a lot of guys who've played a lot of college football. Does that make the conversations a little bit different, just in terms of what they know? And you know, you're not having to teach everything. Absolutely. You know, me coming in. You know, I'm I'm the new guy. You know, I, I had to learn the defense. You know, to, to teach it to them, they already knew it, so they they taught me some things. So you know, j just coming in, man, knowing that you have a veteran group, it helps because they know the, the nuances of it. They they can make you know certain checks that that other guys probably can't see. The younger guys, because they've been through it before, or uh, they they recognize certain patterns and, and route recognitions that the, the young guys just haven't seen yet. So having that veteran group, being able to communicate with each other, because like I said. The communication within the D-line might cost you 10 yards. The communication on the back end will cost you a touchdown. So with those guys baby, being able to communicate, having the extra year under their belt, I think it's going to help us tremendously. And then Coach Fuller, uh, I think you guys got together, got to know each other during the process. Mm -hmm. What have you liked about him since you've been working with him? Oh, man, just awesome, man. Uh, attention to detail is through the roof. You know, he's, he's real personable. He's hands-on with the guys. He's helped, even helped me in in in, in my position. Be just just until I, I get you know settled and and learn the defense. He's been in there with me every day, you know, talking to the guys or, or what have you. So he's been a tremendous help, man. He's been in the game a long time. He's been successful, you know, not only Coach Fuller but Coach Shannon, uh, Coach JP, just just the whole staff, man. It's a, it's a tight knit group and a, a group that I'm I'm looking forward to working with. I'm it seems like Florida State has a good amount of buzz, I guess, on the recruiting trail just because of what happened last season. They asked me to have 14 to 40. For you specifically, I guess, how, how would you gauge the level of interest that you're, you're receiving from? Oh, it, it, it's been great. It's been great. And you know the, the old saying, winning cures all. You know, it, I'm pretty sure it wasn't like that when we went in four or five games. But, but kids, see, winning 10 games at Florida State means a lot. You know, Florida State is the, one of the – the most preeminent college programs in the history of college football. And I think people want to see us get back to where we belong. And obviously, Coach Norvell has, has got it trending that way. But now we got to take it to the next level. And I think this recruiting class could, could, could quite possibly get us over the top. Coach Storms yesterday was talking about how he's already seen the competition with the new talent and all that in the weight room. Obviously, coming into your first spring, how excited are you to see just how competitive this spring looks like it's going to be? Oh, man, it's going to be great. Uh, like you said, man, Coach Storms and, and his staff does a tremendous job with those guys in the weight room. Then that carries over on the field with the tour duties, the way they're working. And obviously, with my, with my group, we have such a veteran group coming back that you know, it, it, it's going to be a lot of competition, but, but competition brings out the best in everybody. And like I said earlier, man, I feel we have eight to ten guys who could be starters on this team. It's going to be just up to me and the staff to to get those guys on the field, you know, in certain situations, best matchups. But uh, I'm really excited about what this unit is going to bring, not only this unit, but the whole entire defense. I feel we have a, a chance to be one of the best, but, it, you know, we just can't talk about it. we got to go about our business of putting in the work. Uh, learn the defense so coach fuller does have the confidence that he can call any defense anytime we go out there and execute you excited to see the matchups between your dbs and these these wide receivers oh absolutely uh man do me and coach dugan go back a, a long way man so there'll be a lot of trash talking out there and that's how it should be man being at a school that, like florida state you should have those battles each and every day because you know you have those battles in practice you know saturday is going to become easier for you so you know, I'm looking forward to it with with, with Johnny being able to defend a six seven guy, uh, and, and uh, the rest of the receivers that they have out there. They have a, a tremendous unit as well, and uh, competition brings out the best in everybody.